okay then we will start open or oxidation open or oxidation is just reverse of mirvin pondra furle reduction in mirvin pondra furle reduction we convert carbonyl compound into alcohol here in open or oxidation we convert alcohol into carbonyl compound here also the double bond is not affected okay so especially this is used for the conversion of two degree alcohol that is unsaturated alcohol because double bond is not affected at all so double bond alcohol can be used without affecting the double bond so two degree alcohol is converted into ketone okay we can also convert one degree alcohol into aldehyde uh, with this reaction but for that uh, we have to use a better hydride acceptor okay so what we use what reagent we required for the conversion of alcohol into ketone the reagent what we required is aluminium aluminium alkoxide okay actually aluminium trialkoxide because the valency of aluminium is 3 so uh, we can use aluminium aluminium tri isopropoxide propoxide or we can also use here aluminium tri iso yeah, tertiary butoxide aluminium tri tertiary butoxide okay in mpv we could not use this because this is not having hydrogen so what happens in this reaction ki aluminium tri isopropoxide the structure of aluminium tri isopropoxide you know this i propoxide thrice and aluminium tri isobutoxide is tertiary butoxide is this one okay and uh, apart from this aluminium tri alkoxide we need some hydride acceptor hydrogen not uh, hydrogen acceptors we need which can accept hydrogen from this alcohol and these hydrogen acceptors generally what we use is acetone but apart from acetone we can also use aryl ketone or benzoquinone we can use benzoquinone is very good hydrogen acceptor so when we have to convert one degree alcohol the structure of benzoquinone is like this when we have to convert one degree alcohol into two degree one degree alcohol into aldehyde we can convert it to this reaction but for that we need this better uh, hydro, hydrogen acceptor acetone will not work what is the mechanism uh, let us see in the mechanism what we do e, let us take uh, aluminium tri isopropoxide or aluminium tertiary butoxide aluminium tertiary butoxide o c cs3 thrice whole thrice this is the structure of aluminium tertiary butoxide and when this aluminium tertiary butoxide is treated with alcohol this is 2 degree alcohol we can also use 1 degree alcohol so this alcohol it forms its alkoxide with this aluminium means these three in three more uh, alkoxide ion of this alcohol they form aluminium tri alkoxide and this alkoxide is removed in the form of alcohol that is tertiary butyl alcohol so what we get are ch r dash o thrice aluminium this is aluminium tri alkoxide of that alcohol which is going to be ox going to oxidize okay and this will form its alcohol so it will become ch3 c ch3 ch3 and this is OH. 
this is not further oxidized this is not further oxidized not oxidized during the reaction okay if we take aluminium triisopropoxide so here we we would be getting isopropyl alcohol which is further oxidized to acetone and that acetone is required during the reaction as the hydrogen acceptor so if you are using aluminium triisopropoxide then here we are getting acetone we will get isopropyl alcohol and that is acetone that will be oxidized into acetone so this this aluminium trialkoxide of alcohol is formed and uh, the alcohol which is going to oxidize now this aluminium trialkoxide it transfers hydrogen with uh, the acetone okay internal hydride transfer take place like this this is c o r r a l o c h r r o c h r r and this is h this is the trialkoxide of the alcohol aluminium trioxide of the alcohol which is formed in the first step now this will exchange hydrogen with this this hydride is transferred to the acetone or the uh, hydride acceptor we can use any other hydride acceptor like benzoquinone or any aryl ketone so this is acetone what happens this this is transferred here so a bond formation will take place here this double bond breaks and it is transferred here so a bond formation takes place here and this bond starts breaking okay this bond starts breaking okay so ultimately after this transition state what is what we are going to get this this will be broken this hydrogen will be transferred here and this bond will be broken okay and a bond a new bond is formed here so what will happen this will become r r c o that is ketone and this this will be removed as r r dash this will be removed as r r dash c double bond o that is the ketone r aldehyde in case of uh, one degree alcohol and this is the aluminium o c h r r o c h r r and this this forms bond with this o c h c s 3 isopropyl propoxide group will be formed and c s 3 in the next step this will be converted into ketone and in the next step this will be converted into ketone in this way uh, the um, particular ketone is formed or aldehyde is formed <clears throat> now let us consider a few examples of open or oxidation suppose this is a compound cs3 ch oh and then ch double bond ch single bond ch double bond c cs3 ch double bond ch2 okay this is having many double bonds and when it is treated with aluminium tertiary butoxide o c c s 3 thrice whole thrice okay and acetone acetone is hydrogen acceptor and benzene benzene is solvent okay so what we will get we will get c s 3 this alcohol is converted into ketone c h double bond c h single bond c h double bond c c s 3 double sorry single bond ch double bond ch2 means double bonds are not affected at all okay and uh, this oh group is converted into keto group let us consider a few more examples second example is an oh group this is secondary alcohol and when it is treated with aluminium iso c3s7 is isopropoxide group 
so this and then benzene and then acetone and when we heat it what we will get ultimately this OH group is converted into keto group okay so we can use isopropyl alcohol we can use tertiary butoxide also so uh, aluminium tertiary tri isopropoxide and aluminium tri tertiary butoxide okay few more examples we can take ch3 twice c double bond c double bond ch single bond ch2 ch2 oh this is one degree alcohol when it is treated with ph co me this is hydride acceptor ketone and aryl ketone and this is al o isopropoxide and phh phh is solvent this is benzene okay so ultimately we will get ch3 twice ch ch double bond ch here this this group is converted into aldehyde but one thing you can notice that this double bond is shifted to create conjugation so when double bond create conjugation it is shifted okay so double bond is sometimes shifted not always but sometimes it is shifted okay uh, to create the conjugation one more example we can take this is ch double bond ch single bond ch oh cs3 okay now aluminium O C M E three M E three thrice. This is aluminium tertiary butoxide and benzoquinone we can use now. Benzoquinone. Benzoquinone is hydride acceptor. So what will happen? This the structure of benzoquinone is like this. The, that is also a ketone, but that is a better hydride acceptor. So this is benzoquinone, para benzoquinone. So ultimately, what we will get, this double bond will be here. No effect on the double bond, and this is CH double bond CH single bond C. This will be converted into keto group. So this will be the final product. So in this way, uh, without affecting the double bond, uh, this is this converts uh, opener oxidation converts one degree alcohol into aldehyde and two degree alcohol into ketone sometimes double bonds are shifted to create the conjugation because conjugation will result in a better stable product so conjugation uh, to create conjugation double bonds are shifted for example we can take one more example in which the double bond is shifted uh, let, let's have it this is OH this is C double bond O CO and then ME methyl okay so <clears throat> when it is treated with aluminium isopropoxide don't go on this big structure we have to just focus on the functional group which is affected by this particular reagent okay so and this is acetone or uh, this is uh, cyclohexanone this is a ketone which can act as hydride acceptor and then then phme phme is a solvent this is toluene and when it is heated what will happen this OH will be converted into double bond O and this double bond will shift to create the conjugation so that you have to take care Ki we, uh, whenever um, conjugation is possible the double bond is shifted and all other things remains as such because this is not going to affect on other functional groups right so this is the final product okay and this double bond is shifted from here to here okay thank you